Hey ladies, how are you? Cynthia Ray here. Hope you're having a beautiful Sunday with your family and just enjoying the weekend. Um, so anyway, sorry about this late post, but I was actually at a swim race with my son this morning, early this morning, and just wanted to catch up with you all and um, help you look forward to the this coming week. I know some of you are getting a late start and can actually use tomorrow as your official day one, if you'd like. And even if you've been doing this group with us for the past week or more, Mondays are kind of like your new day one, your fresh start um, as you get back into your nutrition and wellness fitness practice this week. Okay, so Sundays are the days that I like to have you use to set aside to plan out your week. So if you haven't yet already, um, go ahead and take a look at the video on meal planning that I shared earlier last week. I believe it was on Monday, I believe I shared that. Um, but take a look there and watch that video if you haven't already. Jot down the foods that you would like to eat for dinner first um, for the week and then go for lunch and then plan your breakfasts and snacks. And of course, always adding your family's input in what they like to enjoy um, during the week. And from there, create your grocery list, um, pin up your meal plan that you have set up somewhere in your kitchen where it's visible to everyone in your family, whether it's on your fridge or kind of near your pantry somewhere where people are going to get food. And you won't have people asking you, what's for dinner? That's kind of that dreaded question for a lot of us. <laughs> like we get to the end of the day and the kids are like, oh my gosh, what's for dinner? And you're like, oh, um, let me see. <laughs> so anyway, but when you have it all planned out, it's so nice because it gives you such a sense of freedom, such a sense of control, and just one thing less to worry about on your plate. So um, yeah, so make sure to plan out your meals this week. I have given you already a meal plan that you can utilize if you need some ideas. You can completely use that, um, all of it if you'd like. There's no problem with that. That's totally for you. Or you can kind of create your own, own meals or move things around on that meal plan based on what works for you best, for you and your family the best. Um, and then also plan your workouts. Um, plan uh, what time of day you're gonna do your workout. The workout shouldn't be any more than 40 minutes. Um, each day. I don't think I have any plan longer than that. So um, yeah, plan out your workouts each day according to your schedule, what it is um, that you have going on, and get it in. It's super easy, no more excuses, and yeah, anyway, I, have, <laughs> I was going to say a lot about that, but no excuses, just make a plan and stick to it. That's all. It's just, I always think of it just like taking a shower each day. I don't usually take a shower unless I, after I do my workout. So um, that's kind of my key to getting ready in the morning. So when I get up in the morning, I like to have some quiet uh, prayer time, Bible time, meditation time. Then I do a little bit of uh, laundry, maybe fold it up for in the dryer or put something in the washer. Um, and then I do, what do I do after that? Yeah, usually just kind of clean up around the house a little bit. Once the kids get up and start getting ready, I just get my workout in. Um, Sometimes it gets put off a little bit because if the kids have more needs in the morning um, than I'm ready for, <laughs> it gets put off a little bit, but I still get it in. So I get my workout in before I shower um, and then shower for the day, get myself ready and continue on for the day. So anyway, planning on Sundays is super important. It'll save you a ton of time and stress and energy during the week. If you've tried it already, you know exactly what I'm talking about. If you haven't and you're reluctant to do it, just have a little self-discipline and go for it and you're going to reap the amazing benefits of it and you're never going to want to go back. <laughs> so anyhow, yeah, plan out your meals. Um, if you need to know more about meal planning, I sent out an email this morning um, about the details for that. So hopefully you've gotten that. If not, I can forward it to you. And yeah, get ready for this week. And the more you plan ahead of time, the more you'll succeed. If you fail to plan, you plan to fail. So keep that in mind this week. And I will talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.